Coach, I guess we have to start with the big play. It's something we've talked about, uh, and, and you've mentioned how important it can be in a football game. If you can discuss the role the big play, uh, both with Miami's offense and special teams, uh, played in this particular Which game. Which one do you have in mind? Well, I guess the parish punt returns, to be, uh, to be specific. Well, there's certain things that, one, um, I thought a lot of players really put a great deal into it. And uh, for them, I'm very appreciative and feel bad for them. They can be proud of the effort that they, that they put in and be appreciative of each other. Um, but a good lesson from the game is that when you play against the top teams, when you lay everything you have on the line, you give it your very best, you put your heart and soul into it. Okay? What that means is it gives you a chance. Okay? That doesn't guarantee you anything. Without that, you got no chance. Okay? So from that respect, the team really good, did a good job of giving themselves a chance. Okay. But then there's certain things, as we say, whether we win or lose, we explain them in here all the time. Okay. Certain things that will either make you win or cause you to lose. Okay. There were too many things on the cause you to lose column today that negated the efforts okay, that we put in towards winning the game. Obviously, field position or points as a re direct result of special teams plays, okay, which it's, I think, probably well documented from the previous week in answering questions that you all had that it was ex exactly our hope, our hope that exactly the opposite would be the case. Coach, as a follow-up, Miami's running game, they had struggled the last couple of weeks, and Frank Gore had a pretty big day. Is, is that another one of those things that makes it very difficult? Are you kind of playing catch-up when they're able to run the ball like that? Well, we had... Too many plays in the game, okay, while we had a lot of good plays on defense, uh, we had too many plays in the game that we know how to play, okay, that we know how to play. And uh, we didn't play them as well as they needed to be played tonight. I know there are a number of them we'd like to have back again and have another shot at, but uh, they don't give you mulligans in games like this. Coach, final question for you. I know it comes on a down note, but today is the senior day for your seniors, and uh, obviously they'll have more high notes to come and have had a lot of highlights. If you could talk about what they have meant and, and what this day uh, meant to them. Well, they've done a great deal um, for the team. We're, we're appreciative, but we got more to give to them. Okay, we got two more important games to go, and uh, I'm not dismissing what they've done, but um, our thoughts right now are not in terms of being nostalgic. It's in terms of getting ready to win the next two games. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll go ahead and open it up to the rest of the guys. Now, what, what did you see on the, the timeout call on the, on the field goal that missed there with a minute left? I know you were talking to the official. What well, they, the official said that they called timeout. Did you see it? Where was the timeout call made? Well, you know, with the new rules, you can make it on the sideline. It doesn't have to be made on the field. So the rules you see are say that a coach can make it. I can only assume that coach on the sideline must have made it. How are you concerned about, considering their return potential, were you concerned about coverage and, and their ability to break stuff like that? We did. We did everything we could all week long to, to try to prevent this from happening today. Okay. Unfortunately, we weren't able to carry it out according to plan. Our punt team is the one team that gets the most work every week, and it got extra work this week. And just like other facets of the game, there are some of those plays there that we'd like to have back and do them a little bit differently. We were all right Struggle. about Hester this week. Uh, did you see that Parrish is being capable of this? Oh, absolutely. He's, he's had a career of this. So why it didn't make any difference. You know, the plan remained the same regardless of who the return man was. You, yeah, uh, Jeff. The, the passing game obviously was not as sharp as it has been in some games. How much of that was a product of your mistakes and how much the Miami defense? Well, we certainly, we, we knew that that was going to be a factor. One of the, um, you know, the two teams that have won the last two weeks against Miami um, got significant plays from there. Couldn't, couldn't have won the game without their passing game. Um, both of them had, 
both North Carolina and Clemson had better running games than they customarily do. But without the production from their passing game, would not have won the game. So we had a pretty good idea going in that we would have to be able to have that kind of blend. Okay. Obviously, our passing game didn't produce to the degree that we would have liked it to have tonight. Is that a result of anything they were doing, or did you all just not get it done, quite frankly? Well, usually, it's never just one or the other. Okay. It's usually a combination of both. And I would say that was the case here tonight. We had enough, you know, we just, we didn't have any play. We only really had, uh, Heath stepped up and made a couple plays and I'd put in a playmaker category. Outside of that, nobody really stepped up and, and made those kind of plays. Al, what, what happened to Hoffman and how did his uh, exit from the game affect the rest of the game? Um, Andrew um, suffered a concussion of some degree very early, like on the second or third play, and uh, was unavailable from that point on. And so you ask how it affected. Well, you know, I think he's one of the very best defensive linemen in the conference. But something I learned a long time ago, fellas, through observation of other teams or other coaches, and I certainly appreciate in the time that I've been the head coach, that everybody's got problems, and nobody cares about what your problems are. Okay, all they want to know is, did you win? Okay, and all you want to know is, did you? All I want to know is, did we win? You know, everybody's got problems. Okay, they got them. Okay, we got them. The team we play next week has got them. Nobody cares what your problems are. I don't really care what our problems are. I'm just interested in the results. You had uh, three freshmen on the defensive line, and were Long, Johnson, and Carter at various times. How did how did they do? I thought uh, reasonably well, Jeff. You know that. Uh, we hung in there pretty decently, especially in terms of the points allowed circumstance that um, until we had the, uh, the punt return situation, you know, we're 17 points allowed and um, there were some more points on there. There was a result of bad field position on another return kick. So I thought that they hung in there reasonably well. Even with all the things that went wrong for you today, if you've stopped them on fourth down, you have a chance in the final minute to. I mean, right down there at the end, at the third and five there. Yeah. Well, the really right, right before the field goal too. No, nah, no, nah, the, the 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 big deal was the third and five that we had. Okay, we still had timeouts left. Okay, we had timeouts left. It's third and five. And the ball gets completed to, to my way of thinking in the worst of possible ways on a mental error. So that's probably, for, for it to be in that particular case, that's probably worth about three hours sleep tonight. I mean, that'll kill about three hours worth. Okay, and that probably is going to, from a normal Saturday night, that's probably going to take it down close to nothing. But okay, that'll be on my mind for the better part of the night. So that was unfortunate. <laughs> What was supposed to happen on that? Well, we had a little combination coverage there, and that means guys are supposed to combo things in and out, and half of the combo didn't arrive on the scene. So, Had they run any kind of play like that all year? Because I don't think he had any receptions prior to today. And had Who's that? The, the, the fullback who caught the ball in the third and five and also <laughs> on the touchdown. Uh, well, it's it, it was a different number doing it, but player came from the same place from where their players frequently come. Okay. So I mean it wasn't you know it wasn't that he was number forty one. I think that's who it was who caught it, wasn't it? Okay. It wasn't that it was number forty one that was an issue is so little action motion and so forth associated with it and you know we wish it would have gone a little bit differently. I, I think we we would have had a chance to be right on it. Al, three, you had three receptions by wide receivers last week, one today. Do those numbers kind of speak for themselves? Or? I think that's a good way to say it. How big a challenge is it after a game like this to come back and play when and go on the road the way you do? Well, I think, uh, you know, for this team, um, these next two games, relative to what the team wants to achieve, Jeff, I think these will be two of the hardest games that this team has ever played. 
I think it would have come close to that, given that the result was the other way. Okay, it just probably adds a couple more bricks on that load. Our expectations that we were, were, that, were that we would have played better tonight. Okay, that's what our expectations were. Catching the ball today was that just a function of the weather, or is there anything else that you could put your finger on? I think the, probably it was a function of whoever was involved on each team didn't catch the ball. And what what better weather could you have than tonight? Was Marcus as accurate though as he has been? I know there were some drops, but well, accuracy reads. Uh, winning against coverage, Jeff, over, overall, um, for tonight, we needed to get more production out of our passing game, you know, which, which we didn't. You know, that's, that's not just on one person. You know, that's on everybody. Okay. Maybe if I had given them a little bit more help, things would have been a little bit different. On a third and five play, obviously a crucial play. You mentioned it. Pretty good play call, or did you see? It? Did you think they would pass? Did you see that? Oh yes, of? yeah. We, we thought they, we thought they'd pass the ball. I mean, the game's on the line. You got to do everything you can to make a first down. Okay. We anticipated it. We wanted to be in. What we didn't want would be the ball to be thrown against soft coverage and, you know, just in a little hole, and the guy catches the ball for four and a half yards or whatever it was, five yards, and it's a first down. Even though. That would be a good play on first down. You got to call that formation in that circumstance a little bit differently, especially with the game on the line. You got to call a little bit differently than if it was first. If they threw that play on first down, it'd be second and five. You know that's okay. They throw it on third and five. You got to be ready to get up on those guys. Uh, we tried to have a call. We would like to have that call again. It would give us the best opportunity if executed <coughs> properly. It would give us the best opportunity to make the play. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we'd call it again. We call it again. I told I told Al, don't, hey, you know he's feeling bad. I said, well, you know, don't blame yourself. That's you made the right call. Okay, call it again that way next week. You told me. Al. Al Golden. Did you think they might go for the long ball on that final play, the touchdown? Um, no, not necessarily. But um, you know, I don't. I don't really. I mean, as I said, the third and five plays where the where we let the game get away from us, and uh, we had to do whatever we could to try to get the ball back at that particular time. It's been kind of popular the last two years to blame the punter for a lot of this stuff, but it was as much the coverage punt coverage team as the punter, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, they usually go kind of hand in glove, you know that. Uh, you know, we've kind of been dancing around those problems for two years. And um, the circumstances of this game probably stressed us out in that area as much as any. And, um, you know, like a lot of other areas, Doug, that fell a little bit below probably what you're going to have to have in a game of this nature. You talked about their vertical passing game before today. I think until their last drive, they didn't have any completions longer than 12 yards. Right. Is that pretty much what you wanted from? Yeah, past that's time? the way we wanted it to be. You know, I mean, those, as you can see, whether they're returning kicks or uh, running down the field on long passes, that's a very dynamic set of wide receivers. And uh, we wanted to try to take the wide receivers out of the game vertically, and which we had some success doing, and then. We knew that we had to minimize their coming back into the game on hard crossers. Uh, we had some degree of success on that, not as much as maybe we had hoped or we could have, but we still we kept it from being a big play game. Um, you know, I think a number of people, some of you in here, I think some of the people, the, the television people yesterday said, well, what do you have to do in this game? I said, well, first and foremost, it can't be a quick score game. And, uh, as far as what the defense did, they prevented it from being a quick score game. Uh, 
uh, special teams wise. We allowed one quick score and put ourselves in position where some other points re resulted as from shorter drives, which I guess the game showed when we gave them a long field and we had a few opportunities, a few plays to make some stops. We were able, able to make enough stops when we gave them a long field. We gave them a short field, they're a little bit too explosive.